Uh, my name is Allison Rogers. My job is I am a broadcast meteorologist at WLWT News 5 in Cincinnati. I forecast the weather for Cincinnati, Ohio uh, and all of our surrounding communities, uh, all 52 neighborhoods in Cincinnati and then everybody in our Indiana communities, Kentucky and then Ohio too. Uh, so when I get in, I typically will talk to the rest of the newsroom, make sure that everybody knows what's going on with the weather. One of our meteorologists will talk to the rest of the newsroom, make sure everybody knows what's going on with the weather. And then depending on the day, I'm either sent out on a story to report or I do noon weather and I get to forecast everything. All of the forecasts that you see on TV has been done by the meteorologists you see on TV. So we do all of our own forecasting. We produce all of our own graphics that you also see behind us popping up. So not only is there science involved, there's a little bit of creativity there too. Uh, and then of course communications, because we have to get on TV and talk about weather. Um, but actually talking about weather on TV takes up the tiniest percent of my day. The rest of it goes into getting the forecast and making sure it's the most accurate, because that is what we do here at Channel 5. Not many people realize that that is our own forecast and we've spent, depending on the forecast, hours, minutes agonizing over one degree, which might not make a difference to you, but it makes all the difference to us. You know, we wanna be most accurate. Um, and then also we are talking off the top of our head. We don't have a script. Meteorologists don't have a script. Um, the rest of the station, you know, reporters and anchors, they're all reading from a teleprompter in studio. But for us, when we get up there and talk, we're talking. So I like to say it's almost like a PowerPoint presentation that we've created with weather and we click through our slides. We use our clicker and we click through our slides. Um, and that's, that's kind of, I think those are the two things that people would be most surprised about. Both of my parents are in STEM fields. My mom, she's a retired nurse. My dad uh, is a retired oceanographer. So I have grown up around it. Um, I grew up on a beach. So I grew up around storms constantly forming around me, especially in the summertime. Um, and because I grew up on a beach, I grew up in Mississippi along the Gulf Coast. Hurricanes were a huge part of my life. I, one of my first memories that I have as a child is sitting without power during Hurricane George when I was maybe five years old, coloring in our dining room. No power, there's a huge hurricane going by and I'm just coloring in my coloring book. Um, but specifically when I turned 12, Hurricane Katrina hit my hometown. So that was my, I would say I was interested in weather before, but when Hurricane Katrina hit, that was my absolute this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be a meteorologist. I don't know how, but I wanna be able to help people, let people know when some serious weather like this is happening. And I also wanted to understand why that happened to my hometown because it completely demolished it and devastated it. Um, and if something like that were to happen again, I wanted to be able to help people who were gonna be impacted by it. I love that it is always changing, which is, probably one of the hardest things about weather, but it's also one of the things I like most because I never get bored. Um, but then sometimes that can be the make it or break it for our forecast, you know? Um, but it makes it really fun. You have to constantly stay up on the field and make sure that you're staying up to date with the latest technology. It's an evolving science. I would say I was really lucky growing up. I always had female science teachers. Mixed in with male science teachers as well. I had great teachers. Um, all around, but I also had female science teachers, which I think was really important because it, I didn't know it at the time, but it kind of showed me, hey, you can do this. You can be a female scientist. Um, and so I had an amazing seventh grade science teacher. I had an amazing high school science teacher who she taught chemistry, even though I hate chemistry, she was just so passionate about it. Um, and then throughout college, I had so many great encouraging professors who wanted us to succeed. Um, and then throughout just my life, my mom and dad were always very supportive of being in the STEM field. Um, and at the time growing up, I didn't realize it would be kind of 
I didn't realize that meteorology and science specifically was a more male dominated industry um, because I think my parents just never made that a thing. It was just, hey, you're going to be a scientist, do it, you know? Um, so I think I was always very fortunate that I was surrounded by constant encouragement. I get to talk about weather every day. That is my job. Um, and I get to connect with people in Cincinnati. And I grew up in Mississippi. I did not ever think in my wildest dreams I would land in Cincinnati. But I love it here and I love being a part of the community and connecting with people in Cincinnati. I feel like this is my home, even though I grew up a state, you know, hundreds of miles away. But Cincinnati has truly become my home and now I get to tell everybody about the weather. Um, it's one of the only things we all have in common and I feel like it's something that everybody kind of is interested in and wants to talk about. And I get to let y'all know what's happening <laughs> with the weather. <laughs>Do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Cincy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Sci Around Cincy.